top of the morning to you, Diesel. Top of the morning. You sleep good? Did your caterpillar sleep good too? We are here in Hamilton, Ontario. Here we are. Just delivered our first box. All the way from North Carolina, we brought Uno Boxo up here to Hamilton for them. Now we're about to go bring about another 30 boxes collectively to two different stops over in London, Ontario. It's about an hour and a half drive from here, 136 kilometers is what Mandy's telling me to my next drop. I'm kind of thinking that between here and there, there may be a Tim Hortons. It's been like a week. Okay, here we are in Hamilton, Ontario. I got on the right over there. Can you see them? Look at that leaf blower. That's the most pointless thing I've ever seen in my life. Three of them. Oh my! Three people are getting paid to go and blow leaves around. That's awesome. I want that job. And you know they're getting minimum wage at least. Just go out there and blow some leaves around, man. Are leaves really that bad? I guess in springtime they get soggy and they make a mess. Gotta get it back out to the freeway. Turn left onto Red Hill Valley Parkway South. In this part of the country, they actually have real freeways. They're not just free to drive on, they're also freeways. Bumpy roads, too. Woo. I believe the freeway here is called the Queen Elizabeth Way. Are you jaywalking? Makes me nervous Turn when people jaywalk. Hill Valley Parkway South. Go through here. Jaywalkers are unpredictable, you know. Oh, we're all guilty of it. You know, everyone's jaywalked before. I live in a small town. I jaywalk every day. <laughs> you have to. There's no crosswalks. There's what, like five houses? <laughs> Uh, how do I get back on the freeway? Turn right onto Red Hill Valley Parkway North. Do I want to go that way? I guess so. Okay. I thought I was going the other way, but okay. Alright, let's give her here, guys. Let's give her. I'm trying to get on the freeway here. In 1.1 kilometers, keep left onto Q. Elizabeth Way. There's also a Queen Elizabeth Way in Winnipeg. I don't know if it's called that. Queen Elizabeth Road maybe? I don't know. I think it's called Queen, Queen Elizabeth Way. It's not a freeway though. It's just uh, one of the main arteries going into downtown from the south. I used to drive on it a lot. See, QEW. I wasn't lying. Bunch of Q? Is that what you called it? Andy. Left onto Q. I guess that makes sense. Q. It's not a word. It's an acronym. It's funny. Get over in this lane over here. Okay, so later on today we're going to be uh, stopping our day in Mississauga, which is part of the big city. You didn't use your signals there, my friend. I know your lane is ending. You did not use your signals. freeway already. I guess we've got to get on the other freeway. Is there two freeways? Diesel, what's the good word? How's the back treating you? Alright, oh, this is a bigger one. Okay. I've got to give, 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 give her. Look at this truck coming up here. It's going to pass me on my left. Look at all those tires. Look at all those tires here. Or his axles. <laughs> That's great. I see that a lot in Ontario. I still don't understand why they do that. Can they haul that much more weight? And is it really worth it? Because those tires are expensive. 
you gotta replace all those tires every year. Is that really worth, do you really make that much more money with it? So, we've been driving through London, Ontario here for a little bit. Hello to all of you out in London. I know there's like a whole pile of you out here. I know you're here somewhere. There's a deer in that bush over there. Deer, look. There's a bunch of deer in there. A nice buck in there. And it's just right in the middle of the city. Big buck. And dinner. Diesel's going nuts. You see him, man? I saw the deer, man. They look delicious. I've never had deer, but I hear they're good. So we have dropped our first drop in London, our second drop of the load. We're going to drop our third drop here in London as well. And from there, we're going to head off to Mississauga and hang out there till tomorrow morning. Uh, the, they don't want to unload me there till tomorrow morning. They're pretty strict with their appointments, so. Whatever, whatever you say. Wait till tomorrow morning then. London's a lot bigger than I thought it was. Like we've been driving through the city for a while already. It's huge. I thought it was like a little town. Nay, nay. A whole pile of stuff here. This is like the less condensed place already. You should have seen before. I must have driven through downtown or something before. downtown coming up here. I don't know. What do I know? It's hard to tell where the downtown is in these Ontario cities because they have so much congestion. They'll have like a ton of downtowns like Toronto. There's like five different downtowns and they all have different names. I know Mississauga has, Mississauga has its own downtown and there's the big Toronto downtown, the Scarborough downtown, Brampton downtown. Made it to the Husky, Mississauga. They have a nice Super 8 hotel attached right to it. Not much grass for you here, Diesel. This is the only stretch of grass in the entire area. <laughs> Everything else is just concrete. But this looks interesting over here, eh? I'm gonna check out what this is. Why do they got all these rocks? Bunched up in there. Diesel, get out of my shot, man. I'm trying to show people this. Isn't that interesting how they do that? They get all these rocks together and then they strap them all in there with this mesh, this metal mesh. Interesting how they do that. Diesel's just. <laughs> I gotta sniff every blade, man. I, got, I, I have to sniff every blade of grass, man. Every one. Do you like those rocks, man? Claim them. They're yours if you say so. Look, it like gets deeper and deeper as we go down here. <laughs> Keep on sniffing, man. Keep on sniffing. So it was a very short day today. We only drove four and a quarter hours, four and a half hours. I think it ended up being four and a quarter. And pretty much drove from Hamilton to London to Mississauga short day for me but I get paid extra for the unloading because there's uh, a lot of physical work this particular load that I have 
Uh, tomorrow is two more deliveries, Mississauga and Scarborough. I'm gonna take off to Ottawa. We'll see how Ottawa's doing since those shootings. Let's see how everyone's doing there. What you see over there, man? What you see over there? Who is that? Yeah, man, there's a piece of plastic over here, man. Getting me excited. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> oh, you'll get it. That's how you get it. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now I know how to get what I want. You know, if you look at it from this angle, you know, if you look at it from this angle, it's almost like we're in the trenches, you know? In like some kind of battle. That kind of a short day, wasn't it, Diesel? Didn't go very far. Look at him staring at the flag. The flag over there, man? Well, it looked like you were staring at it the way you were, but now you're actually really looking at it. It's a nice looking flag you got, yeah. <laughs> yes, I have a small obsession with flags. Any flag. I like flags, I don't know. Can't really explain it, but oh, I don't know why I'm so tired. I did absolutely nothing. You know, it's those days when you do nothing that you're actually more tired. If I have a busy, busy day, my energy seems to last a lot longer. When I have like a slow day where I didn't go very far, oh, it feels like I just like. Whew. Anyways. Guess we're gonna grab something to eat and play some games. I'm still trying to conquer the world in my civilization game. I'm I got about a third of the world done. I right now I control all of the Eastern Asian continent, almost all of Australia, all the little islands in there, all of New Zealand and Alaska. Because I'm going through Russia into Alaska, right, and then I'm gonna come down into North America and take over Canada and the United States. From there, I don't know where we're gonna go. We're probably gonna push west uh, in Asia, take over the Middle East and then Europe, and then I'll push down into South America. That's my world dominance plan. So this is my game, Civilization. I wanna show you how I'm doing so. Right here, this is Alaska. I'll show you in the map down here. All the gray stuff is me. So you see how I control all of Eastern Asia here, all of these little islands in here, and then uh, almost all of Australia. I got an independent city-state right there that I'm not really at war with right now because they're kind of peaceful. All these black blobs are independent city-states, so they're their own country, right? A little blob there. And these are all, all the dots are cities that I've settled and whatnot. And I started off at the beginning of time, so I started off with my... Uh, uh, capital being like right in there and I've spread out my empire this far this red guy here he's nasty if you attack him he'll nuke you back I don't like him so I'm building up my strength and eventually I'm gonna take him over but it's gonna be a bloody nuclear war tell you what he's got a temper on him this guy over here he owns this continent he's taking this whole continent over there used to be a whole lot more players in here right but uh, I'm just playing the computer by myself uh, but he took over all of Africa so he owns all of Africa and he's alright he's not really anywhere near me right so like I said all of this all of that and right now I've just started attacking America <laughs> and Canada <laughs> but in the game it's not America so I'm gonna take over the world man so I went into Alaska which is what we're viewing right here these are all my forces and then the green forces there are uh, the game says that India owns that continent it's not real life but India. So I'm going to take over this continent here. Then I'll own North America. See, I'm coming through over the there. And I'm going to come down here. And once I take over all of this green stuff and I eliminate him, I'm going to start pushing my empire west into this nasty guy's territory and get rid of him because I don't like him. And once I own all of that and own all of this, we're going to take out this guy here because I don't got a beef with him yet, but I'm guessing he's not going to like me in the future as I come closer to his empire. And once I take over that, then we're going to push down into South America there. And then we're going to take over all the independent city-states. And then I am ruler of the entire world. 
That's right, and then we start over. I've been playing this game steady, as much as I can. <laughs> steady for a truck driver, I mean, like, whenever I can for oh, a couple of weeks now. And uh, I'm pretty far along in the game now. I am in the year uh, 2163 AD, so I'm actually in the future here. I started off in the year, like, 3000 BC. And uh, just progressed through time. Anyways, that's what I've been up to. <laughs> Taking over the world. One day at a time. Well, if you've never been inside a husky shower room before, there you go. It's a little more dark and gloomy than some of them. Wait. Inside the shower in here, it's pretty dark. Like a little dirty too. No light in there. That's strange. I mean, whatever. It's cleaner than some showers I've seen on the road. Yeah. That's that. What else do you need, right? A bit more light would be nice, but whatever. <laughs> so you guys like my long shaggy hair? I like it. I gotta get it shaped though yet. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> Screw it. I always wanted to grow my hair really long, but it's so hard getting it past this stage and you know I'm losing my hair on the top, right? So I always wanted to grow it really long before I had no hair at all, right? Gotta do it at least once because I'm like 10 years from now I'm not gonna be able to do it at all. I'm gonna be like bowling alley, you know what I mean? You guys like bowling? Like bowling alley right here. I'll polish it up for you and everything. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. But I just realized something. I realized I, I put my uh, destination into the GPS. I'm like one and a half kilometers, 1.4 kilometers from my destination. And I don't have to be at my destination until 9.30 tomorrow morning. It's 7 p.m. right now. So I have 14 hours. I have to do some math in the head. <laughs> 14 hours over that. 14 and a half hours before I have to be there, which is awesome. Oh, it's been so nice having a little bit of a relaxing couple of days, sort of like a weekend for me. You know, yesterday I got to go, I got to sit uh, in Fort Erie today. I'm, I did a little bit of work and now I get like an extended evening and I get to sleep in tomorrow. It's like a nice weekend, you know, after running so hard from Kelowna down to the southeast and back up here. It's just been so nice. Definitely. So I'm going to enjoy this. I'm still taking over the world back there. I've almost got the entire west coast of the United States. My next turn, I'm going to take the last town. I think it's in Mexico. But, uh, I'll show you. I'm pretty proud of my progress. <laughs> okay, so this is my... I've been playing this for a couple hours now, probably, or an hour or two. Where am I at here? Okay. So that's the world down there, right? And let me get my mouse. Ah. Okay, this is too hard. I'll just point with my finger. Remember before... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Get this out of here. Get that out of here. Okay. Down here. Remember before that was all green still along the west coast? See all that gray stuff? That's all my land now. I invaded and I took it over. All I gotta do is get that one little town down there. I'm in Mexico there, and I'm going to take it on my next turn, and I'll have the entire west coast. Almost. They're still leaking out onto the coast right there, though. Crazy guys. And then from there, I'm going to push over the Rocky Mountains into North America and take over North America. See, I already own all of this. All this gray stuff is mine. That's not mine. That's a different color. That's white. That's a uh, different guy. Yeah. I see this guy in Africa. He's making some progress. Let me get that little box out of there for you. Um... He's making progress. He's pushing into the Middle East there. So that grumpy red guy that I don't like, he's uh, <laughs> he's taking some hits. Good. He's doing the hard work for me. Then I don't have to. There are dirty players. I don't like attacking him because as soon as you attack him, you like shoot like a water gun at him. He nukes you. I'm like over crying out loud. Overkill. Stop nuking me. I'll nuke you back. But anyways. That's been my evening. I'm taking over the world. Well, this is the part of the day where you go down below to the description if you haven't already. Or if you just want to see some more videos of mine. There's links down below to all kinds of stuff, including at least five of my past vlogs over the past year. So if today didn't have quite enough trucking content for you, I understand a lot of you like that. A lot. A lot. So 
There's lots more down below in the description. You guys can always go check it out. So from Diesel and I, have a great evening. We'll see you tomorrow bright and early.